Hey, and welcome back to our AI Aggregator Model Shootout. My name's Jonathan, and today we're going to be taking a look at U.com. U.com is one of the newest players in the aggregator market, at least from my awareness. And U.com is interesting in that it combines in U.com search engine features along with an aggregator model, allowing you to choose from multiple different AI tools to create content, to create responses, to create images, and more. We're going to dive in, we're going to take a look at the process and see how it compares with the rest. All right, so let's dive into U.com and take a look at how things work. You can see the interface is fairly similar to what we've seen before. We've got a left-hand menu and we've got um, other things laying out here as we go around. So pretty simple and straightforward. Um, we're going to walk through our ransom chats already. So let me first start by talking about the sign-up process. The sign-up process was super easy. Very easy to do, different price points, made it easy for me to make choices. Uh, overall, no room that I can see for any significant improvements there. Works great. Once you get in though, um, one of the things that I was disappointed about, I don't know if it was if I did something or whatever, but I didn't see a lot of direction. It kind of dropped me right into here, what you see right here. And I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Now the good news is the interface is actually quite similar to ChatGPT, so it's pretty easy to figure out. And I could go ahead at that point and figure out where I wanted to start off with. There we go, make sure I'm set on the right thing. And I can ask a question. Again, this is a pretty similar format to ChatGPT. So it's pretty easy to figure out what I wanted. I'm gonna go take a look at a couple of my uh, history chats just so I can show you what we did. I asked it to begin here by uh, running through some prompts for me. Let's see, where did we start? We asked it to create an SOP to help figure out how to upload a blog post and optimize that to WordPress using the SEO Yoast plugin that so many companies use. So we gave it the prompt. Uh, we first ran this in, I forget what model, and unfortunately I can't see what model I used here. Uh, I think it was ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, we ran that, everything went fine. You can see it created a nice checklist for us. I then redid that in, I, there it is, it's, it's uh, yep, ChatGPT 4.0, so it shows us at the bottom. I then re-ran it, and nice thing, I didn't have to start new. I was able just to go ahead and change the model, in this case, to Genius and have it do it. The one thing that I thought was interesting is when I choose the models, you'll see here if I look below, my agents at the top, they call them Experienced Advanced AI Capabilities. Uh, they have a smart one, a genius one, a research, a creative, but I have no idea what model they're using. So I didn't like that as well because I don't really know what I'm getting. They did a fair job, but um, I also then did a research. So you can see I, did, I chose Genius. Uh, we're real quick, we'll take a look at the other models. Uh, so we have multiple GPT models that are available for us to take a look at, including the new O1 Preview and O1 Mini. So that all looks great. Uh, we have multiple Quad models to take a look at, multiple Llama models, Mistral, Gemini, uh, and then uh, I'm not familiar with DBRX. Uh, we have Command R, Solar, and then Dolphin, uh, which is a Mistral model. So overall, a pretty good selection of, of models. Uh, nothing to complain about and uh, lots of different things. I said I was not real sure on the agent. So what I did is I decided, you know, we ran that first one in GPT-4. Then I went ahead and I ran that using the Genius model. Now, when you look at that, the Genius model tells us, if we take a look at that, that the Genius model should solve multi-step problems. And to write an SOP, I thought that'd be a great solution there to go ahead and write a multi-step problem. So we went ahead and did that. Then I took both of the SOPs, so the ChatGPT 401 and the one created in Genius, I don't know what model that uses, and I asked it to compare them and tell me which one was better. Admittedly, I thought Genius will probably be better. And we went ahead and it went ahead and evaluated them. I asked Genius again to do that, to do that comparison. And it went ahead and it determined overall that it thought the 401 was a bit better. They were similar, but the 401 was a bit better. Um, I then asked it to do that again. And this time I actually used, scroll to the bottom so I can show you the model. I used Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Uh, to actually rewrite it. I apologize, I rewrote the SOP. So now we've got a 4.0 model that won against Genius. Then we ran it in Sonnet, and then I compared the Sonnet version to the 4.0 model to see which was better. Let me go down here a minute and see where we ended up at. And I gave Smart the opportunity to review it again this time. Smart being quick, reliable responses. Again, don't know about the details. And it also then basically came back and said that SOP 1, it thought, was probably a little bit better. You can see both SOPs serve the purpose. SOP 1 is more detailed. SOP 2 is effective but could benefit from additional details in certain areas. So, uh, again, overall, 
thought both everything models worked as expected no issues there uh, i'm just a little bit befuddled as to the smart genius research and creative models and where those fit in but so be it everything worked well uh, easy to use and again we got quite a bit of access then i thought well let's go ahead and check out the graphics capability so we went ahead and I grabbed some prompts and I began with a photorealistic Peter McKinnon inspired shot. By the way, I'm a few, huge fan of Peter McKinnon, so that's why I used that. Uh, this would be a photorealistic image. And you can see here, uh, not bad, fairly photorealistic. It's a little hard to tell with the lighting, but um, that could that could probably fall for a photo other than maybe the fire and the brick in the background. doesn't look quite well. Again, I don't know what model this used because I didn't have any graphics models to choose from. I chose creative here because if we look at creative, transform your ideas into stunning visuals. So I chose that model. I don't know what's happening in the background, but decent. I then decided let's make that a 3D cartoon animation just to see. And I candidly, I thought it did a pretty good job. Uh, so whatever model it's using, it seemed to render that well. I then thought, let's try to render a character. As you guys know, I do a lot of that in my videos, and or in, in my videos, I do a lot of that in my content. And so I wanted to render a character. I used a very common prompt that I've used before, and it did a decent job. I do admit I prefer the mid-journey style, but there's nothing wrong with this image, and certainly uh, great. My probably biggest issue is I just don't know what's doing it it'd be kind of nice i'd like to know is this dolly i doubt it's dolly it looks better than that is it mid journey i don't think it's actually it doesn't look that good is it leonardo is it something proprietary to you.com not sure but again decent image all the way around and then i asked it to tell me about dolphin so one of the other models you can see we had here at the bottom is the dolphin 2.5 it's a fine tune mixed troll model and so i went ahead and asked it to tell me about that and this is where one of the neat aspects of you came in notice on the side here it brought up a search thing i'm going to go ahead and move my head out of the way there there we go and you can see that it actually went out and did a web search so I used Dolphin 2.5 to tell me about Dolphin 2.5, and it actually did an AI search and then used that that information as part of the response. Reminded me a lot of a maybe a light version of Perplexity. I still prefer Perplexity overall. Most of you know I'm a huge fan of Perplexity, but this was nice to be able to have those search capabilities built right in as I made queries. So overall a decent interface i like the way it works the speed was good i have no complaints uh, about really anything that's here other than just a little bit of a puzzlement on my part as to where uh where, where those custom models are coming from and what's over there um, they also have a, some other things here on the left i can take a look at if i care even including a team plan i can add in um obviously encourage us to follow them they got explore this uh, tab brings me over to just kind of i think look more at news and stuff i'm not really sure what explore was about i didn't spend a lot of time exploring business just brings us to an upgrade guide where we can upgrade to a business plan if we want and then download gives me the opportunity to download a mobile app and connect things they also have an extension that looks like that can run in your browser if that's something you're interested in doing and i did not test that out so overall a solid model again it gave me pretty good information overall and then i had it write a sample news article for me i gave it a title based on a news story i saw and then you can see over here again on the right hand side it did a search it pulled that information in and created a news article but based on that i did it with chat gpt 3.5 i also did it with research i thought both of them were good and very similar in the way that they set up so overall a very solid choice let's take a moment and let's dive into the scoring and see how it compared there all right, let's dive into the scoring for you.com. If you just a quick recap, you may remember uh, we have done Magi, we've done Ruby, and now we're doing you.com and we're rating all of them on the same criteria. So account setup, gave it a nine out of 10. It did a great job. It was easy. I can't think of any specific improvements I'd recommend, um, but it, yeah, again, I gave it a nine. I thought it was good overall. User experience, again, I gave it an eight. Um, I thought there was a little bit of room for improvement, but overall relatively easy to navigate and figure out where to go. Didn't have to, to spend too much time tinkering. Uh, it did a good job there.
AI models available. I did rate it a little bit lower here than I've done some of the others, and that's really for two reasons. One, it has quite a few models available on the text side, but it doesn't tell me anything about its image models that are available. It also, unlike Ruby, didn't have any audio capabilities or video capabilities, and so I did give it a seven here. Not a, not a big hit, but just a little bit of a hit because I didn't think it was quite as good as Magi and as Ruby have been when it came to the models. Cost and efficiency price points are very similar to the others. We gave it a 9. Performance and speed, I gave it an 8. As you guys know, I pretty much considered that, that to be par at this point. I thought that everything worked as it should. I don't see any API integration capabilities or third parties, so we left that at a 0. Uh, training and customization options, again, uh, there, were, there were some fine-tuning options we could get into. Um, there, I didn't see anything, though, about specific opportunities to create it like a custom GPT. So I'm going to only give it a six there because I do think that is a little bit weaker than what we had in some of the others. I'm, again, I'm not familiar enough with the models. It does allow us to build those custom models, but the details were pretty sparse. Output quality, I'm going to give it a 10. It did exactly what we would have expected. Data and security, as far as my research shows, it's about average, so we give that an 8. Customer support, I didn't have any issues, didn't need them, but they do have some of the normal channels for customer support, so we'll give them an 8 there. Documentation and resource and guides, I'm mean, actually only going to give them a 7 there. Now, again, maybe it's been my experience, I'm trying not to pick too hard, but unlike the other models where there were quite a few ways to easily see how to use it, it seemed to me U.com just kind of assumed that you would know and be able to figure it out. Good news is their user experience is good, so it wasn't hard, but I think they could do a little bit better job on documentation. Scalability, the ability to handle increased workloads and all, they have multiple packages that are available, so I do think they give you a decent flexibility there. That gives us an overall score, let's take a look here, at 88, and if we compare that over as we're going up, Magi we came in at, let's see, Magi was a 96, higher is better, Ruby came in at a 95, and u.com is in at an 88. So one unique feature about u.com that I want to mention is the fact that it does integrate directly with search engines to do searches as well. So if you need that feature, while well, Magi and Ruby also provided some of that, the way u.com did it was really good. So overall, a good solid choice. Not my first pick so far, but we'll see how the rest of them do. We're reviewing 11 total models, and we'll see how they all stack up before I make any final conclusions. Next up, well, wait and see. We've got another review coming soon.